Welcome back to JSA TV, where we are broadcasting live from the expo floor here at Yada 2024 in Las Vegas. We are bringing you the latest from the show and also the latest from across the digital infrastructure industry. Joining me now, we've got Cody Clegg. He's with Optic Networks. Thank you so much for stopping by. Very happy to be here. Thanks for the welcome. Thanks and, for inviting me. And a first time JSA TV -er, so we first should give time. you something special for being here. First time. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you guys. Well, Optic Networks, you guys have had quite a bit going on, but before we get into that, just for people who maybe aren't familiar, just yes. tell us about what you do and what, how you help your customers. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're a carrier in the telecom space. We really focus on dark fiber, uh, fiber transport from data center to data center. Uh, we really, really focus on providing a high level of customer service and really just building good relationships and making sure that we're, we're helping the Midwest get to where they need to go and transport needs with fiber needs, increasing bandwidth. Uh, so in rural areas, it's so important to make sure we're connecting people. So that's what our major focus is in growing. We're going to keep growing this thing to help people out. Absolutely. And playing a big role in that digital divide, as you mentioned, lots of rural areas yes, in the Midwest. 100%. That's, that's what we're here for. Absolutely. Well, you guys recently had a very exciting transition. Uh, you yes. had a, a rebrand into Optic Networks recently. So what prompted that and how does that align with, with your mission and what you're working on? Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'll cause say it's from a brand change perspective, it was really just an evolution. We, we had to do it. We have grown so expansively and our needs have grown from being a need in Nebraska alone to uh, Colorado, to Iowa, to Kansas. We really want to be that company that can just connect the Midwest, you know, coast to coast we want to be that midwest carrier and so with optic it just aligns more with what the needs are it helps people recognize who we are and that we're just not a nebraska company we are a larger company as a whole um and just envisioning what we can be optic just fits that name for us absolutely well congratulations i know doing a rebrand it's no easy feat and there there are always many many lingering pieces so i'm sure you're still working on some things yes it's a good time though and we appreciate doing it it's, a, it's just fun for me and my position is being a part of that. So. Yeah, absolutely. So we should talk about dark fiber and it's so crucial. Uh, you mentioned connecting a data center to a data center. It's yeah. the stuff that makes the data center work. You can't have a data center without it. So right. how are you seeing that demand for the dark fiber evolve as we're seeing the demand for data centers just multiply? It It has gotten massive <laughs> and that's exciting for us and what we try to do because in the Midwest, it just doesn't really exist to the larger scales that it is needed. And so for us to be able to push the boundaries and grow the Midwest of the needs and hitting, you know, 864 fiber counts, having it available for people and being able to transport from a Denver, Colorado to a Council Bluffs, Iowa, that is so important. And so as we grow up this thing, we're able to help the hyperscalers, you know, really feed what their data center needs are. And that just helps overall the entire network of the, the internet industry throughout the United States. So we're connecting the right people and we're growing and that's very exciting for me that's just you're going to see that keep growing over the next five ten years dark fiber needs are going to be insurmountable and we're going to be there to fill it for them. yeah look looking ahead what are some of those next gen fiber solutions that you're leaning on to help with things like edge yeah, which is you know probably where you, you might describe where you are a lot of the time and yeah. iot 5g all of the things feeding the demand yeah and it's really we're we're it's dark fiber that's still the answer um we have to increase it though. And so we've really, what you see standard in the Midwest is really just a smaller count of, you know, 164 or 282, like whatever that may need to be. We're seeing that go to 864 <laughs> and, you know, and it's being consistent that just doesn't exist today. And so right now we are pushing the boundaries and scaling that, trying to help with the power side, trying to help with the overall needs of the industry. That next five years, we're going to have to get the entire network there. And then from there, it's going to just grow again. So uh, the data center pieces, we have to maintain relations with them and what their needs are and adapt to them. It's not just what we want. It is what they want, what the carriers want, what the other telecoms are going to need. We got to be very flexible for all of them. And that's that's how we're growing things. You, you hit on a common thing that I've heard as I've talked to several yeah. people like yourself is that, you know, you're, you're in the dark fiber space, but you've got to be attuned to the data centers and cloud and everybody's got to be talking together and working together. 100%. That's why we do these events here. It's, it's making sure we're talking to everybody and seeing what their needs are. And if we can be a piece of that, we're going to have to grow our industry to make sure we're fitting their needs. And that's kind of what we're doing. And that's why we're here today is really just to get to know people, know what they're needing, and we'll make a business plan based off of that. And that's the fun <laughs> stuff. That sounds like a really good plan. 
Yeah. So before we let you get out of here, one of the big themes that we've also been talking about lately is, you know, as we continue to see the demand for more, more everything, you know, more data centers, more dark fiber, we're going to need more really talented people such as yourself to come in and, and fill the shoes as this industry grows. Yeah. So what's your advice encouragement, a word of encouragement to the next generation coming up? Honestly, the best piece of advice I can give anyone trying to get in telecom is just go talk to people. Uh, I know AI is big and it's going to take over a lot of things. You still got to have that relationship. Go talk to people. Don't be scared. Everyone here is willing to teach people. Everyone's helping each other learn. Everyone's growing together. Don't be scared. Just go talk. <laughs> you do that, you're going to be 10 times ahead of where a lot of people are. And it's going to just help create con connections. going to help grow the industry. It's going to help grow telecom and connectivity across the United States. And that's really what we need as it starts going internationally. Like that is just, we have to help drive that. So talk to people. <laughs> that's all I can say is just talk. Brand is important. Grow your brand for yourself and for your company. Connect. Everything's going to grow together. That's so key for me. Good old passion networking. Networking. At it's its core. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's exciting stuff. And it's still important in 2024. It's going to be important 50 years from now network just do it <laughs> absolutely very good well where can people go to keep up with all of the things that you guys have going on uh so optic.com uh, it's going to be the quickest way um but you know on linkedin we're all very very active on there we're connected with everybody uh we're constantly sharing what we're doing and we're posting it through our blogs through linkedin through our websites all tied together um, but we're really big on just relational marketing and making sure we're connecting with everybody so reach out to us we'll talk to you Regardless if there's a true need today, we don't know what's going to happen in five years or if I can help you find somebody, I'm going to help you. Similarly, you'll help me. So just let's build a relationship. Connect with me on LinkedIn even. I mean, my name's Cody Clegg. Just connect with me. <laughs> um, I'll help you with whatever you need in the Midwest. And I am connected nationwide. I can help you find contacts elsewhere. So that's the best piece, best piece I can give you. Optic.com. Well, Cody, thank you very much. Congratulations on the rebrand. We look forward to seeing that. how that continues to unfold. Yes, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, let me know. All right, and thanks for to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Plenty more to come here from the expo floor here at Yada 2024. So stick around. But in the meantime, everyone stay curious and stay connected.